Shalom. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechak Radash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. To you, brothers, I want to say Shalom. Uh, I'm the brother of Rock from the GMS Atlanta uh, camp. Back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to an elect member or two. Now, um, um, I was thinking, man, uh, how zealous uh, Jakes are, you know, for the sake of whatever they may believe in, you know, whether it's uh, Buddhism, uh uh, Christianity, Muslim, uh, what, whatever the case may be, they're so zealous, but they're zealous towards the wrong energy. And when you try to tell them the truth, you know, and getting into a back and forth uh, with Jake and just people in general, but we're going to speak about Jake in particular. And when I say Jake, that's uh, short for Jacob, uh, you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Uh, which are the true Hebrew Israelites from uh, our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. So, um, yeah, you know, they're very zealous. You know, when they believe in something, they go hard about it. And you can't tell uh, Jake shit, man, when it comes to the, the God that they serve, whether it be an idol or whether it be uh, the true power in their eyes. Okay. Which we all know the true power is uh, Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, which is the ancient Hebrew for Salakia, uh, which is the ancient Hebrew for uh, the title which these people call God. You know, his true name is Yahweh, and uh, Jesus, which is true name in the ancient Hebrew, is Yahweh Shai. Now, they're so zealous that. Hey, let you direct, try to direct them into the same, uh, into the correct path, which is the true doctrine, uh, that we have here through the uh, spirit and power Yahweh by Shimei Shai, and through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone down here on the earth, uh, which is the hundred percent truth. If you try to give that to them, uh, you can damn near, uh, the conversation would damn near come to blows. Okay, uh, uh Jacob. A damn near kill you, man, over telling them uh, w w what's true, but in their eyes is contrary to what they believe. You know, this is Romans 10 and chapter 2. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal for of the Most High, but not according to knowledge, because our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. They don't know who they are. They don't know who their true power is because Esau through his philosophies and, you know, so on and so forth, has totally destroyed our people. And us being under the curses, or the Lord has removed himself from the nation of Israel. All right, but we're coming back into remembrance. And with that, trying to wake up Jake could be like talking to a brick wall. Okay, they'll, they'll damn near uh, pull, out, pull out a scrap and, and, and gun you down, man, if you try to tell them the truth. OK, uh, this is Romans 10 and 2 again, for I bear for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to knowledge. OK, for they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. OK, because the scriptures also tell you, I believe in the book of Matthews, that these people do confess unto them with their lips, but they're. Hearts are far from them because what they've been taught leading up into their adulthood has been totally false. All right. It's been a righteousness according to uh, the philosophy of man, if you uh, or what have you. OK, what they've been taught has been right, which they don't know uh, the laws for themselves. It's like they don't supposed to be, for an example, eating shrimp, crab and lobster. Uh, getting their hair lined up, marring their beards. Now, if you tell Jake that, that's like speaking a foreign language into him because that's righteousness, but it's not according to what they've been taught 
which is righteous. Righteous to uh, to Jake nowadays is uh, feeding the homeless, uh, going to church every Sunday, paying their tithes, uh, loving, loving, loving. OK, that's righteousness. All right. That's their own righteousness. But the Lord is uh, uh, way more than what these people have been taught or what they believe in. OK, so Romans 10 and three for they being ignorant of the most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteous of the most high. OK, they've not submitted. They've not come to an understanding of what is truly right and what is wrong, you know, according to scriptures. OK, um, so in this lesson, man, basically, I'm going to go into, you know, how Jake is so gung ho and 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 um, will damn near come to blows or kill you over you just quoting them the truth or telling them what the scriptures say. And in this particular lesson, I'm going to go into an account which ultimately got John the Baptist uh, beheaded because all he was doing was quoting the scriptures, telling them, telling uh, Herod, Her hey, man, dating your brother's wife or marrying your brother's wife is totally off. And, you know, I'm not going to get into it right now. Um, Lord willing, later on in the lesson, I'll get into it. Um the second precept I want to grab is from the book of Galatians, uh, the fourth chapter and the uh, 16th verse. Uh, it says, uh, Galatians 4, 16, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? <laughs> they zealously affect you, but not well. Ye that would exclude you that ye might affect them. OK, so quoting the scriptures and telling Jake what's true. Um, according to the scriptures, would damn near make you become the enemy. You know, it'll start an all-out war. You know, it's like trying to teach an old dog new tricks. They're just not going to be receptive to it. You know, no matter how much you try to show Jake the scriptures, all right, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, they just can't receive it. Um, the scriptures uh, always make the um, the statement, uh, he that has an ear, let him hear. Okay, these guys don't have spiritual ears. Okay, now you tell them, hey amen, uh, you know, according to the scripture, Leviticus, the 11th chapter, it tells you right here, you know, just break the chapter down. If the animal doesn't uh, part the hoof, true to cut. And it's cloven footed, you know, it's unclean until you shouldn't eat it. You know, Jake, you can't tell me shit. I've been eating this shit. You know, Lord, uh, the, the law is done away with, you know, whatever the case may be, man. It, it, it'll become a, a, a situation in which you you damn near have to uh, get into uh, fight or flight mode with Jake if it comes to that, man. All right. Because they have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. You know, they've been destroyed for the lack of knowledge, as it says in Hosea 4 and 6. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> get into the account. Uh, this is Mark, the sixth chapter and the uh, 16th verse. It says, but when Herod heard thereof, he said, it is John whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. So that's going back to uh, when word got back to Herod of all the miracles that Yahweh was performing. Um, he thought it was uh, Herod um, that is that is uh, come, risen from the dead. You know, that was performing these things. OK, um, verse 17, it says for Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John and bound him in prison. For Herodias, for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her, okay, which is totally off according to the scriptures. And John let him know, like, hey, that's that's totally off, you know, according to the scriptures, which I'll get, uh, which I'll get in the um, in the law, the book of Leviticus, um, you know, uh, twenty, twenty and. 21 so this is 
what Hera ultimately told him, you know, and let's see what it resulted in, you know. Uh, Leviticus 20 and 21. And if a man shall take his brother wife, it is an unclean thing. He have uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. Okay. So it. It tells you that in the 20th chapter and also, I believe, in the 16th chapter, uh, 16 around. Uh, so like, you uh, was it 18 and 16? Yeah, this is uh, Leviticus 18 and, and, and verse 16. It says, uh, Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife. It is thy brother's, it is thy brother's nakedness. All right. So he, he just told him strictly according to the scriptures, you know, that it was, it was off. Now let's see uh, how him, John the Baptist, that is. Uh, telling them that they're they're erring according to the scriptures. Uh, see how this scenario turned out. So back in the book of Mark, the sixth chapter. Um, what was I? Uh, verse seventeen. For Herod himself had sent forth and laid hold upon John and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John had said unto Herod, it is not lawful, you know, reverting back to Leviticus, the sixth, the 18th chapter and the 20th chapter. He told him, um, for John had said unto Herod, it is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Therefore, Herodias, Herodias has a court, had a quarrel with him, you know, so she had a beef with him. You know, because he, he told them according to the law, you know, they was going off and would have killed him. But she could not. OK, for Herod feared John, knowing that he was a just man and holy and observed him. And when he hurt and when he heard him, he did many things and heard him gladly. And when a convenient day was come, the Herod on his birthday made a supper to his lords. High captains and chiefs, uh, estates of Galilee. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatso whatsoever thou wilt, and I will give it. So Herod on his birthday probably, you know, juiced up, having a good time. Uh, he tell me, hey, whatever you want, you know, I'll give, I'll give it unto you. So let's see what, 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 what this, uh, this, this woman had in store, or what she wanted to be given unto her. It says, and when he swore upon, and when he swear upon her, whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give thee unto the half of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, the head of John the Baptist. <laughs> See? And she came in straightway with haste unto the king to ask, saying, because she already had a quarrel with him, you know. So all she needed was to hear that, you know, from her mother. And I gave her the green light. She, she wanted John the Baptist's head. It says, and I will, that saying, I will, that thou give me by and by in a charger, the head of John the Baptist. All right. So, man, hey, just quoting the scripture, telling people where they're going off, you know, could possibly lead to, a, to a, um, a quarrel, you know, or even death, man, you know. So, you know, man, hey, take when you're trying to teach Jake about the scriptures with the, uh, a, a grain of salt. Don't be out here trying to give a full you know, um, a sermon to, to the unclean or casting your pearls before swine. And it's all, and it also tell you in revelations, I believe that's 22 
that he is he that is unjust let him be uh remain unjust you know roughly paraphrasing man all right so lord when this was edifying giving all praise glory and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rachakodash shalom